So let's go ahead and take a look at a few different ways that we can empty our trash on our iPhone. Now what does that mean? Well essentially any files that are just looming in the background and taking up a ton of data. Well if you want to go and clear out some of these files, much like how we can go and clear our files on our you know, Windows or Mac PC, doing this can go ahead and save up a bunch of storage on our device. Now the first thing I would recommend doing is making your way over to your iPhone storage panel. You can go there by going into general, which is right here, going down to iPhone storage, and you want to just take a look at everything that's kind of looming around and taking up a bunch of storage on your device. So you can see we have photos and all this other stuff, but at the bottom you should usually see iOS and system data, and usually these things you can't delete or anything and they have a ton of information within them. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is making your way over to your photos application right up here. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and essentially go into albums and you want to scroll down until you see recently deleted. Now in this panel, there may be some photos and everything that are just looming around. So I would highly recommend going through and deleting any of these photos that are here that you don't even need anymore. They're already in recently deleted and I'd recommend just going through and deleting them here. Why do I think this? Well, this can go ahead and take up a bunch of data and this is just all trash because you've already deleted them. They're just pretty much in the recycle bin. So what I would recommend doing is just deleting these applications here and that should end up fixing the situation as well. Again, not a guarantee, but that can go and clear out some trash. On top of that, another thing you can try doing is actually clearing some of your website data on Safari. So if you use Safari and if you've been using it for a long time, a lot of cache and data is just built in over time and you don't even need that stuff stored on your phone most of the time. So what we want to do is we want to go into settings, we want to scroll down until we see Safari which is right here, and we want to scroll down until we see clear website and history data, or clear history and website data. So what we want to do is we want to click here, we want to click clear history and website data, and it's going to close all tabs now, it's going to save your passwords and everything, but it's just going to remove any of your saved websites. So keep that in mind. Now if we hop back into Safari, you can see it's pretty much the same thing as before. I can go and do whatever, but it just doesn't have my saved credentials. It doesn't have my saved links. It will still have your passwords and everything if they're synced up with your iCloud account, but that is another thing I'd recommend doing as well. Now finally, every single application out there for the most part has a little panel that should allow you to go and clear the cache within that application. So if you don't want to delete any of your applications, what you can always do is make your way into your application. You know, in this case we have Snapchat. We can click on our top left corner. You want to go into the settings of that application and you want to see if there's a way that you can go ahead and clear the cache of that application. So you can see right here I have 66.9 megabytes of cache for no reason. So what I can do is just go ahead and click clear cache, you know, clear. And that is another thing you have the opportunity of doing if you want to save even more storage without having to delete these applications. So those are pretty much the main ways to do it to kind of clean up your iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.